Okay, today's first lesson out of section 1.1 is on number systems. Number systems refer to a name of a group of numbers within all the numbers that you have learned in your life so far. First and foremost, as I've written in the middle of the smart board, all numbers that you can possibly name for me, everything that you can possibly tell me is called a real number. All numbers are real. So anytime you're asked what number system does a certain number belong to, for what you know, it's real. Now, real numbers can be divided into two groups, as I've written in red on the smart board. Real numbers can either be rational or they can be irrational. The difference is rational numbers, as I've written in blue, can be written as a fraction. And some examples that I wrote in green, 0.6 repeating is rational. Two-thirds is rational. The square root of 9 is rational. 0.7 is rational. Why? Because all four of those numbers can be written in fraction form. Let's start with 0.6 repeating. How do you write that in fraction form? Well, any number that has a repeating line above it, to write it as a fraction, you take the number 6 and put it over 9. Any, any number that has a bar over it, you put over 9. We all know 6 ninths is the same as the fraction 2 thirds, which is the same as 0.6 repeating. It is now written as a fraction. 2 thirds is already in fraction form. Square root of 9, we all know that is the number 3. And we all know you can write 3 as a fraction by putting it over the number 1. So square root of 9 can be written as a fraction. And finally, 0.7. If you read that number correctly, you all would tell me that number is 7 tenths. Therefore, that is also written in fraction form. That's why they are all rational. Now, let's go over to irrational. As I'm circling that word. Irrational are all the numbers that can't be written as a fraction. And I've listed three examples. The square root of 2. The square root of 2 cannot be written as a fraction because it does not work out evenly. Unlike the square root of 9 over here in the rational column, which works out evenly, the square root of 2 does not. Therefore, it is irrational. Pi is irrational because it is a number that goes on forever without repeating. And finally, 1.72681 dot, 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 dot. As you notice, there is no repeating line, and the dot, dot, dot indicates that it goes on forever. Therefore, these three numbers are three examples of numbers that are irrational. So, one more time. Real numbers are either rational or irrational, depending on whether or not they can be written in fraction form. Now, the next type of number systems. Let's talk about irrational. If a number is irrational, you are done. There are no other number systems within the irrational column. However, on the rational side, there are three different types of number systems that are rational. First of all, rational numbers are represented by the letter Q. Now, the three types of number systems that are rational. First of all is the word integers. Integers are represented by the letter Z in high school mathematics. And those are all counting numbers that are both positive and negative. If you notice, in green I wrote some examples of integers. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. All the numbers you can count by that are not decimals are integers both positive and negative. Whole numbers are represented by the letter W. Whole numbers, I think of whole numbers as how many whole pizzas could you go out and order with your friends? Well, you could order zero whole pizzas. You could order one whole pizza, two whole pizzas, three whole pizzas, etc. Whole numbers are counting numbers 
that are not negative. And finally, the natural numbers. The natural numbers are the numbers 1, 2, 3, etc. They're just like whole numbers, except the number 0 is not included. And those are your number systems that we are going to deal with this year in Advanced Algebra 2. Part of your assignment today is to classify each number or classify different numbers. So I've got two examples written on the smart board. Let's start with 1.23. What number systems does that belong to? Well, if you recall from the beginning of this video, I said all numbers that you can possibly name are real. So this is a real number. Secondly, can this number be written as a fraction? Well, sure it can, because if you read the number to me correctly, it would be 1 and 23 one hundredths, because the 3 is in the hundredths position. Therefore, it is written as a fraction, so therefore, it is rational. Now, since it's rational, you have to consider the other three possibilities. Is this number an integer? Is it a whole number? Is it a natural number? Well, these three number systems are all numbers that do not have decimals attached to them. So very simply, none of those three apply. So therefore, your final answer, 1.23, is both real and rational. Let's consider square root of 36. Since it's a square root, first question, does it work out evenly? And you all know the answer to that is yes. Square root of 36 is 6. Okay. Well, as we said earlier, all numbers you can tell me are real. So this number is in the real number system. Can the number 6 be written as a fraction? Well, yes, it can. You all know you can put it over 1. Therefore, it is also rational. Which brings us to the last question. Do any of the special categories apply? Is it an integer? Is it a whole number? Is it a natural number? Well, integers are counting numbers both positive and negative. 6 is a counting number, so it is an integer. Can you order 6 whole pizzas? Sure you can, so it's a whole number. Is it natural? Well, of course, because natural numbers are all whole numbers. So therefore, this one is natural as well. Therefore, your final answer would be square root of 36 belongs to every one of those number systems. Real, rational, integer, whole, and natural.